question states that select the correct statement with respect to immunity and the options given are first option each antibody molecule has three peptide chains this is incorrect in each antibody molecule four peptide chains are present two small called light chains and one longer called heavy chains this is incorrect because heavy chains are also two in number here you can see structure of an antibody molecule and this is light chain this is also a light chain and these two are the heavy chains option number two the primary and secondary immune responses are carried out with the help of T lymphocytes only this is incorrect because in primary and secondary immune response, B lymphocyte, T lymphocytes and antigen presenting cells are involved. Option number three, the T lymphocytes are responsible for cell mediated immunity. This is correct. T lymphocytes are involved in the cell mediated immunity and B lymphocytes which form plasma cells and plasma cells form antibodies and antibodies form humoral immunity. D only IgA and IgM are produced in human body. This is incorrect because other types of antibodies are also formed in the human body and they are IgE, IgD and IgG. So correct answer to this question is option number C, the T lymphocytes are responsible for cell mediated immunity. Proceeding to the next question, question states that choose the incorrect statement with respect to nucleases and the options given are first option exonucleases and endonucleases are two kinds of nucleases. This is correct. Exonucleases cut DNA or RNA at ends while endonucleases make cuts within the DNA but not at the ends. B. Exonucleases remove nucleotides from the ends of the DNA. This is correct. C. Restriction endonucleases make cuts at random positions within the DNA. This is incorrect because restriction endonucleases make cuts at specific positions within the DNA. D. Each restriction endonuclease functions by inspecting the length of a DNA sequence. This is a correct statement. Incorrect one is option number C. So, correct answer to this question is option number C. Proceeding to the next question, question states that select the incorrect statement with respect to nervous system of cockroach and the options given are first option brain is represented by sub esophageal ganglion this is incorrect because in cockroach brain is represented by supra esophageal ganglion and not sub esophageal ganglion and this brain supplies nerves to antennae compound eyes and labrum. B Nervous system is spread throughout the body. This is a correct statement. C3 ganglia lie in the thorax and 6 in the abdomen. This is also a correct statement. And fourth one, it consists of a series of fused segmentally arranged ganglia joined by paired longitudinal connectives on the ventral side. This is also a correct statement. Incorrect one is option number A. So, correct answer is option number A, brain is represented by subesophageal ganglion. Proceeding to the next question, question states that which among the following conversion is carried out under the influence of enterokinase and the options given are first option chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin. This is incorrect because conversion of inactive chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin occurs in the presence of trypsin. So A, chymotrypsinogen into chymotrypsin, this cannot be a correct answer. B, Procarboxypeptidase into carboxypeptidase. This is also incorrect because conversion of inactive procarboxypeptidase into active 
carboxypeptidase is also done by trypsin. See trypsinogen into trypsin. Inactive trypsinogen converts into trypsin in presence of enterokinase secreted by succus entericus. So this is correct. D-pepsinogen into pepsin. Conversion of inactive pepsinogen into pepsin occurs in presence of HCl. So correct answer to this question is option number C. Proceeding to the next question. Question states that identify the incorrect statement with respect to human elementary canal and the options given are first option duodenum is J shaped. This is incorrect because not duodenum stomach is J shaped. Second statement the opening of the stomach into the duodenum is guarded by pyloric sphincter. This is correct. Next statement ileum opens into cecum of large intestine. This is correct as you can see in the diagram ileum opens into the cecum of large intestine and opening of ileum into cecum is guarded by the ileocecal valve. So this is a correct statement. Next statement cecum is a small blind sac which hosts some symbiotic microorganisms. This is correct. So incorrect statement is statement A and correct answer to this question is First option that is duodenum is J-shaped. Proceeding to the next question, 